Hello, good morning students. Hope everything is fine. Today I am going to discuss chapter 7 that is introduction to algorithm and flowcharts. It is a very important and good chapter to know. Slowly I will explain the things. I will try to explain the things and student will get the things well. So let's start. So, um, algorithm means a step by step procedure to solve a problem is referred to as algorithm. So, what is it? A step by step procedure is uh, of a problem is known referred to as algorithm. And what is flowchart? The pictorial representation is called flowchart. So, the a if you want to solve the problem in a step by step manner, so this is known as algorithm. And the algorithm are used to simple program implementation simple program implementation okay so once the program is defined the next process is to design it so the designing part is known as flowchart designing part is known as flowchart or you can say flowchart is a pictorial representation now a programming task can be divided into two phases number one problem solving phase Number two, implementation phase. So, divided into which? Problem solving phase and implementation phase. So, problem solving phase means an ordered sequence of steps which describes solution to a problem is referred to as problem solving. Implementation phase means implementation, implementing the program by using some programming language. So now they have told about algorithm. An algorithm is a sequence of steps. Is a sequence of steps followed to solve a problem. It is the method of expressing a finite list of well-defined instructions for calculating a function. Starting from the input, these instructions describe the computation which when executed eventually produce the output to write the coding of a program to solve any kind of problem one has to write the step using simple english language so algorithm for design experiment implementation analysis so these are the phases to write an algorithm and algorithm is written in simple english language now what are the properties of an algorithm? Properties of an algorithm? Different properties of an algorithm. First is that after a certain number of steps, an algorithm must be terminated. Yes, there should be some termination means there should be some starting point, there should be some ending point. Which means after finite number of steps, an algorithm reaches the solution of the problem. Next we have each activity of an algorithm is unambiguous means without doubt defined for all actions okay next is sequence instructions are performed from top to bottom so there should be some relation between the instruction there should be some order in the instruction then input and algorithm will have zero or more inputs so you will have to take the inputs any operation that is performed will be will have some value or quantities associated with the different activities so these are the properties we should follow whenever we are making an algorithm and next we have output so the expected result can be termed as output of the algorithm at different stages of the algorithm the result can be obtained if the result are generated at intermediate stage then it is called intermediate result if the result is generated at the end of the algorithm it is called end result okay then effectiveness basic operations are used to develop an algorithm generally an algorithm is expected to have effective to be effective the operation to be performed in an algorithm must be sufficiently basic scope any algorithm is specified to a problem 
or a class of problem so this is the picture this is the algorithm so what what the things are there i already told you sequence input output effectiveness scope so there are many more properties we should follow in case of a algorithm now i will just say about an algorithm suppose given me an al algorithm to write day to day life how to make tea how to make tea how, how to prepare tea this is very common thing so what are the algorithm when you write an algorithm then how to write and what to write so first is given step one start it will be there will be start see there will be stop there will be termination there will be starting point step two take a regular tea pot basin yes correct step three add 50 ml of water into it correct step four keep it on a burner and allow it to boil step five add sugar into the boiling water step six add one tablespoon of tea into the solution step seven allow it to boil for five minutes step eight strain the tea and serve in a tea mug and last one stop so there will be a finite number of steps should be there there should be a starting point there should be some termination means finishing point so this is the way we have to write an algorithm and it's a normal english language so we have to write this format step one step two step three and there should be some relation among the steps okay i think students you understood the particular thing now i'll explain the types of algorithm so there are types of algorithms are there what are they algorithm and flowchart are classified into three types control structure control structure okay first is given sequence what does it mean sequence statements are placed one after the other and the execution takes place starting from the top going to bottom correct for example i want to print a word hello world so how it is it the steps should be related to each other step one start step two print that command hello world it should be in inverted comma then stop for example this is then i want to print a breakfast routine start cook breakfast eat breakfast clean up stop so these are called sequence now branches means selection there should be some selection is option is there like yes no so there is a condition and according to a condition the decision of either yes or no for example here it is given two numbers a and b and among the two numbers i want to check which one is bigger or which one is smaller for example here they are checking which one is larger the maximum number first process like same process step one start step two we have to take to input means the values of a and b any value i can take take the given input say a and b for example you can take any value you can take a b x y anything you can take then i can take the value of a and b any one first i'll give a condition check if a greater than b then go to step 5 means this one it will print it will print a again if check b greater than a then go to step 6 then it will print b after that what happened it's it gets the result then the then the program then the algorithm will stop see there is some decision making is going on yes or no so that's why it's called branching or selection okay last one we are giving getting loop means repetition there is a condition and according to a condition the decision if else is executed so suppose print all the natural numbers up to n so i want to print all the natural numbers you know that what is natural number it will start from 1 2 3 4 like that it will goes on so i i i keeping a check so this way i can check it or i give an i want to give another example suppose you want to print your own name 10 times 15 times so in that case it will generate 15 times by using a loop that is called loop using if else okay next we have flow chart what is flow chart flow chart means steps in an algorithm can be rep represented pictorially using flow charts 
दिस फ्लोचर्स कैन लेटर बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू ए प्रोग्राम कोड A flowchart is a visual representation that is very important pictorial form visual representation of the flow of data through processing system this by this it means that by seeing the flowchart we know we can know the sequence of tasks being performed yes by seeing the flowchart i just show you after that so a flowchart can be termed as blueprint or a design to solve a problem a flowchart is known as also name known as process flowchart so you can say flowchart is a blueprint and it is a pictorial representation so it will be much more helpful to the user to understand okay now there are flowchart symbols when you draw flowchart there are particular symbols are there you should follow so what are the symbols i'll just show you so this is the picture so do to draw the flowchart there are some standard symbols are there if you want to make start and stop so this symbol a particular symbol you use this indicates whether you are starting a uh, starting or you are ending so this one processing box this is called process box this is a processing box this means the instruction if you want to give any condition this is called decision box either yes or no if you want to give any input or output this is the input and output box input means data received by a computer output means data sent from a uh, computer sent from a computer connector is a connector a jump from one point to another point in a sequence and this is called direction of flow or flow lines okay so there are these are the symbols you should remember and based on that you perform the drawing of flow chart now the general rules for making a flow chart whenever you make a flow chart there are some certain rules syntax guidelines you should follow what are they i just go through flow charts follow a top to bottom approach correct it should be top to back bottom all the symbols in a flow chart are connected with arrow this arrows it should be connected i just show you start and end symbol in a flow chart are considered as terminal terminal acti activity terminal activity is correct starting point and ending point all flow chart starts with a terminal or predefined process is correct all flow charts end with a terminal or continuous uh, loop the decision symbol can have more than one exit point yes it can have because there are option decision yes or no so it have more than one exit point the breaks in a flow chart are connected using the connector if there is a breaks in flow chart we should we should connect through that connector option okay example from one page to another page yes that is very important suppose you are drawing a flow chart one page it is not completing it will go to next page so i can connect that particular flow chart through connector option okay from top to top of the page bottom upward flow chart and more more the symbols okay so it should be connected through connector option and so you a flow chart how it how to do and how they have done it so students there are some examples of flow chart for example i just show you the first one only I just show you this one, the very common one. Flowchart to show how to prepare a cup of tea. If you see this picture, prepare a cup of tea. I just zooming it and just try to show you. If it is clear coming, then nice. Okay. I just want to zooming and show you. I think you can read that part. This is the starting part. This is the symbol. This is the ending part. This is the symbol. This is the this way they have taken the decision box, and that is called processing box. Hmm. Processing box. Fill kettle. Heat water. Then has the water boiled. If it is yes, then make tea. If it is no, then again heat. So this is the decision box. I already told there are. multiple exit option this one this one for decision box this is a processing box so processing is going on okay there is no uh, input output option so in this case so this way we can draw a flow chart it is yes so it is, and after the making it stops so this is the general way to write a flow chart they have given color to identify things better okay and whenever you draw flow chart in copy or anywhere or in exam time so you please use pencil 
okay don't use pen it will be suitable to draw with a pencil okay students this is very interesting and not so hard you can under, you can do it very well and there are some advantages okay there are some advantages and disadvantages of flowchart and algorithm advantages of algorithm disadvantages of algorithm advantages what it is easy to understand the problem algorithm uses a definite procedure and what is the disadvantage it is time consuming it is not a computer program advantages of flowchart what are the advantages of flowchart the logic of the program can be explained easily very important it is easy to explain and analyze the program it is easy to maintain a program but there are certain disadvantages time consuming mostly once the logic of the chart goes wrong it is difficult to alter yes correct it is very important it requires special tools to draw the necessary symbols so these are the advantages and disadvantages as so student this is the explanation of the chapter algorithm and flowchart it's a very interesting chapter please go through the chapter if you have any doubt any query please consult with me i think this particular lesson this particular explanation will help you a lot to understand the chapter i hope you will get some benefit from that okay thank you very much goodbye